Hi guys, Dane here, and today I am going to be taking the mid-year check-in tag. Uh, what, why did literally the second I started filming that motorbike just went past? So uh, yeah, this is a tag that I co-created with Harriet Rosie last year, and uh, we were both tagged to take it this year by Book Invasion. So uh, shout out to Book Invasion, and uh, obviously Harriet and Book Invasion are both linked to below, so check out their channels. It's a series of 10 questions designed to get you... What is going on out there? It's a series of 10 questions that's designed to help you to sort of check in with your reading at this mid-year point. So, without further ado, let's go. Question 1. How many books have you read so far this year? Bear with me, I will take a little cheeky look at Goodreads. Okay, so, so far this year I have read 226 books. A lot of them have been smaller books, to be fair. But also, I've had like two of my best reading months ever in a row. Uh, yeah, but I've fallen behind in June. Oh, no question number two. What's your favorite book so far this year? That would probably be the long walk by Richard Bachman aka Stephen King that came out on top of my quarter one favorites list And I haven't filmed my quarter two favorites yet, but I did update that list I think near the start of May and there isn't a book on there that, that could knock the long walk off yet So we're going for the long walk Question number three, what's the most disappointing book you've read this year? That would be The Beautiful Cassandra by Jane Austen, which was her entry in the Little Black Classics box set. Now, the reason for this is that basically it was like her juvenilia or juvenilia, however you pronounce it. It was stuff she wrote when she was a teenager for the amusement of her family. It was never meant to be published, but for some reason the Penguin decided to include that as her entry in the box set, as opposed to, for example, an excerpt of one of her novels or something like that. Uh, it was just really bad. Uh, like, spelling in it was atrocious, the stories were just boring about terrible people getting married, which, to be fair, may be what the later Jane Austen's about, I don't know. But it's not totally put me off reading Jane Austen, I do have Persuasion, I'm gonna give Persuasion a go, and if I don't like Persuasion, then, you know, but yeah, definitely don't read The Beautiful Cassandra. Spelled with two L's, by the way. Question number four. What genre have you read most this year? Probably classics because of the little black classics. Um, I don't know. Yeah, other than that, like a fair amount of horror, I guess, because I've been reading some Stephen King, Joe Hill. Lots of mysteries with Agatha Christie. Some comic fantasy with Terry Pratchett. I mean, just some non-fiction, actually. I, just a bit of everything. The same as I usually read. <laughs> Question number five. Name a new favourite author that you've discovered this year. Well, I'd probably go for Joe Hill, except I discovered him last year. But I read, like, one of his books last year and, like, three of his books this year. And I've got the box set of Lock and Key coming soon as well. So hopefully I'll like that. Otherwise, that'll be unfortunate. But if you can't go for Joe Hill, it would probably be Samuel Pepys. Because I really enjoyed reading Pepys' journal, Pepys' diary from during the Great Fire of London and uh, the plague as well. So, I really want to read more of that. Huh. Who knew? I wouldn't have expected that answer, but that's what comes to mind. Question number six. What's the most surprisingly good book you've read so far this year? The most surprisingly good book? Well, I mean, that would also probably be Samuel Pepys, but I'm assuming we can't really go for that. So, let's go for um, Socrates' Defence by Plato, in which Plato just writes about... Basically, Socrates was uh, tried for, I think, corrupting the youth of Athens with his philosophy, and he was eventually sentenced to death, and this is Plato's account of Socrates' trial and his re response to that. And, uh, yeah, powerful stuff. I was expecting it to be quite dry, and, yeah, it was, it was almost like true crime or something like that. Question number seven. What are your favourite and most anticipated 2019 releases? I don't know if I've read any 2019 releases. I don't think I have. Um, I know that Stephen Colgan's got a new book coming out called The Diabolical Club, uh, which should be coming any day soon because this is out through Unbound. And basically, as opposed to just like pre-ordering or something, with Unbound, it's like Kickstarter for books. So basically, once the book gets enough pledges, it will be fully funded and go into production. So I pledged to support that ages ago, and it's finally, finally coming out soon. So I'm looking forward to that. Question number eight. What's your next big priority for your reading? Well, I've just, I won't actually say what I've just finished because that'll be my answer for the next one. But, um, okay, what I have done is, as I said, I've ordered this box set of Joe Hill's Lock and Key. And so I want to read the Lock and Key series 
and then also my other half will read it as well and we'll maybe do a wrap up video at the end so that's probably my next big thing I want to do the only other thing that sort of comes to mind as a big priority is I'm trying to cut down my TBR list so I'm currently on 176 like owned unread books and I want to try and cut that down as much as possible however at the start of the year it was 250 and it's just been my birthday so I think I'm doing alright I got down to about 159 and then bought more books oops question number nine what's been your bookish highlight of the year so far probably finishing the penguin little black classics box set because there are 80 of them and it's massive it's like this this big uh, there will be a wrap-up video of that either out already or coming soon depending upon which order I edit things in but yeah that was a bit of an achievement other than that bookish highlights of the year I don't know there's not even anything with my writing really because I've been going so slowly but uh yeah hopefully hopefully the second half of this year I'll have some really good answers for this but until now finishing the penguin little black classics box set I mean it was 4,800 pages roughly with the with all of them put together Anyway, question number 10. Who do you tag? I'm going to do what I always do. I'm going to lean around the camera like this so I can see. I'm going to go on to my comments on my videos and I'm going to tag some YouTubers, well, some booktubers who have recently commented. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and tag Pints and Paperbacks, Bookish, Charles Heathcote, Graham Quigley, Madeline Swan, Emma Rosen Books. I am going to tag Madman Reads and Rocks, Jashana C., and I'm going to tag A.G. McDonald and Jason's Weird Reads. Bonus tag, Todd the Librarian, of course. So on that note, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of the books I mentioned in this video. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more. And I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.